Hey guys, just do the lab 2.6 testing mode configure a motherboard for PC hardware class. Let's start it. First of all, I would like to turn the contrast mode so that it doesn't hurt my eyes a lot. Let's read the instruction on the side. Okay, go to advanced mode here. Click security, security button is right underneath. Click administrator password. You can set any password you want, you prefer. For this example, I just put 1234. Okay, submit. New it. Question 1. If you forget the admin password uh, for the motherboard setup, how can you clear and start over? So you can do set a jumper and take out the battery, the CMOS and battery. Okay. Now we create a user password. User password. This right here, you click it, then you, the new window will pop up. You can create any password. Uh, in this example, I can do just one, two, three, four. Just the same thing with admin password. Okay. You can add another layer of security by disabling the ability to boot from optical drive and setting the hard drive as the first boot device. Complete the following step. Go to the boot menu. Boot menu is right here. Click it. In advanced mode. Okay, scroll down and set the hard drive as the first first boot drive. So uh, in this particular uh, question, uh, you can just click here. You don't need to scroll down or do anything. Just click here, boot option number one here, and choose hard drive. It's right here, the P1. Click it. Submit. Why might you want to set the optical drive and use SD drive as the higher boot priorities than the hard drive in a typical computer system. Mm. I will give this one. During troubleshooting, you might need to boot from a device other than the hard drive. Disable boot option 2 and then disable boot option 3. So in this one you can uh, scroll it down but uh, actually you cannot uh, using your mouse to scroll down. You have to click this uh, scroll down button and drag it down. Boot option 2. Disable is right here. Then boot option 3. Disable. Submit. Okay. Now disable the boot boot devices in the CD DVD room drive BBS priorities menu. Okay. Once again, we drag it down to the bottom right here. They have the menu CD DVD room. Click it. And they have two boot option. You have to disable both of them. However, when you disable the first, the, the first one, it will be automatically go to the second one, and it push the second one to the first one. So you have to be very careful about that, and just make sure that you disable both of them before you uh, hit submit. Otherwise, it's going to be wrong. What kind of device in the Sandisk? You just saw list as a boot device in the UEFI. 
that should be the USB. Uh, Raw also wants to experience with uh, whatever it is, and he want to use Hyper V. So complete the setup. Go to Advanced Menu, Advanced Menu here. Then choose CPU configuration. Right here is CPU configuration. And scroll down once again. We have to drag the scroll down button. We cannot be able to uh, use our actual mouse to scroll it down. Right here, Intel virtualization technology is disabled. All we need to is enable it by clicking enable. And we click exit, save change and recess. Then we submit. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is Jerry just bought a computer from a friend, but the friend couldn't remember any of the password for the computer. Jerry ha asked you to help him solve his problem. So you decide to reset the UEFI BIOS to clear any password. So complete to remove the motherboard, uh, set the jumper pin. So you have to power down, unplug, pass power down again. So the first step is power down, it's right here, power down button. Go to take out the power cord and go back to press the power down um, power button again to make sure that uh, all the re residual power is out and we can switch click it to switch and open the case by clicking this button now we remove the graphic card and motherboard and we can submit okay so why it is important to press the power button again after unplugging the computer because we're making sure that we drain any residual power from the system so submit okay in this instruction they will use the jumper cable so when you need it just this is the jumper cable you drag it down drop it wait for about five to ten seconds drag it down get it out again and submit okay in this instruction we inst reinstall the motherboard and graphic card Close the key and power up the system. So we drag to install the motherboard on graphic card. We cannot just put like this because it's not going to work. We have to turn it, rotate the figure, turn it, and drag it, drop it. Now we can see close K button. Click it and rotate to front. Right. Now we can drag the power cable to the power outlet and power system turn it on. When you see this screen, you can be able to submit it. Okay. Shanna says her computer keeps showing the wrong time every time he, uh, she had to shut down or restart the computer. She has figured out how to reset the clock, but she's getting frustrated with having to do this so frequently. You suspect the CMOS battery need replacing. This is a relatively easy and inexpensive solution. Complete the following step. So remember the 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 takeoff uh, motherboard. We have I mean uh, when before we touch into the motherboard, we have to do this step, uh, these steps. We power down, 
take off the the cable and power down again. So one, two, and three. We do one, two, and three. Make sure that all the power is running down and we can turn the case out. Now, when we open the case, we can be able to see the CMOS battery is right here. You just drag it out. And we go to inventory to get a new battery by going to inventory, power, drag down the new battery out. And uh, for quick note, this is the, this is the battery uh, serial number. So um, this is the lithium battery uh, made in Japan and the model is CR3032. So make sure we, uh, we note on that because uh, we're going to use it later. So we drag the new battery into the motherboard, close the case, turn it around, plug new plugger, and turn it on the computer, then we submit. Question 5. What kind of the battery is the CMOS battery? So remember, uh, I just mentioned uh, earlier, that was the CR. 2032. Yep. Yeah, and that's it. Thanks for your watching.